Hi and welcome students. Today's video will cover Microsoft Access 2016 and I'm going to show you how to define fields, set field properties, and specify a table's primary key. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have a table open and this is for gym trainers and you can see that I have certain fields already set up. And so these fields cover everything from the trainer ID to the trainer's name, to their specialty, all the way down to interests. Now whenever I want to define fields, the first thing that I want to do is figure out which view is going to be the best for that. Typically the view that I want to change either field properties or specify a primary key is going to be the design view. The design view allows me to not just, you know, kind of add and delete records, but rather changes change entire fields altogether. So I'm going to click right here on the home tab and then I'm going to go to the view button and I'm going to click on design view. And so design view has nothing to do with records. Basically it is all just fields, data type, and description. Okay, so we have a lot to work with over here. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here is uh, for the trainer ID field, which is this one right here, we're going to set this one up as the primary key. The way that we do this is I click just to the left of trainer ID, and that way I see this kind of pink border going around it. And when I see the pink border going around it, I go up to the table tools design tab. I go to the tools group, and I see this button right here, primary key. Designate the selected fields or fields, or sorry, field or fields as the primary key. The primary key should be the field that is completely unique. It's the unique identifier field. So if I look back at datasheet view, I could tell that trainer ID is going to be a good field for that because every trainer ID, it's like an employee ID number. It'll never repeat. So that's a great one for that. I wouldn't want to do first name because what happens if I, what happens if I have two Jennifers? Okay, that would not be a good primary key field. All right, so primary key field is going to be trainer ID. The way that I do that is in the tools tab, or sorry, tools group. I click primary key. All right, so there we go. We've officially specified the field's primary key. Now what we're going to do is make some changes to uh, maybe the data type or the description, the field size, something like that. All right, so over here, uh, the trainer ID field, I'm going to put in the description right here. It's the primary key. That way, anyone who comes to look at this area here in the design view, they know this is the primary key. Basically, don't mess with this one, okay? Over here is the caption down below. These are all of your field properties, and this is how we set our field properties right down here. For the caption, um, this is going to be the label that um, the la the label for the field when used on a view. Okay, so basically if you're viewing this, you're going to see, I'm going to put it in the caption right here, trainer ID. All right, so that's good for this field. Next thing up, I'm going to go right here to the first name. Okay, and the first name, let's say that I know that I'm not going to have a name that's not or that's very, very long. So if somebody were to type, say, a paragraph into this field, I want access to say no don't type a paragraph in this field this is for the first name only the longest first name uh, would probably be about 20 characters so over here where it says field size I'm not gonna allow 255 characters instead I'm gonna change that to 20 that way after every single uh, or after somebody types more than 20 characters access is not going to allow it to type any more than that so if somebody tries to type a sentence or a paragraph there obviously that's not going to happen and for the caption I'll put first name alright looks good now let's do the last name field The last name is right here and it's short text uh, this one looks good this is good uh, short text for this and so I'm gonna put for the last name uh, some people have multiple last names so I'm gonna change the field size to that from 255 to 25 because who knows if you somebody might have a last name that's 25 characters or more and then for the uh, caption I'm gonna put last name all right down here is interests and interests who knows what people are going to type into this since it is a field where it might be better to have uh, more of a paragraph setup or somebody might write a paragraph in there it's better to change this from short text right here down to long text okay long text is better because it's not going to have that character lock of 255 characters so um, it'll allow them to type basically as much as they want in that field all right there we go so now what we're going to do is uh, add a new field to the table right after the interest field okay oops let me put long test text there 
All right, so we add a field right after that one. You guys will see right here. Uh, this is the design view is not really a good place to add in fields so much. You're going to want to go to the data sheet view for that. And so I go back to data sheet view. But first it says you must first save the table. Do you want to save the table now? I'm going to click yes. Now it says some data may be lost. The size of one or more fields has been changed to a shorter size. If data is lost, validation rules may be violated as a result. Do you want to continue anyway? What this is telling me is that let's say that in the first name field where I only allowed 20 characters, if somebody had a paragraph typed there already, Access is going to cut it off at 20. So it's saying, are you sure you want to do this? And if you guys ever get into the situation where you say shorten the character length, you want, really want to make sure that you chose the right number there because if not you're going to lose the rest of that data. In this case I know nobody's writing a paragraph in there for the first name so I have no problem clicking yes to continue. Alright so there we go. Now what we're going to do is add in a field prop or uh, add in a brand new field and so I'm going to put that field right over here on the right side. It says uh, click to add. I say alright I'm going to click to add and I'm actually going to put this in as a yes no field which is a checkbox and so I'll click that one right there and it's called field one by default. I'm gonna change the name and I'm gonna call it minors. And so this will be like if the person at the, or the trainer uh, will accept clients under uh, 18 or not. And so I click enter for that. And so that will be uh, input right here. And so basically it's a yes or no. And uh, so that's that's been put right there. Now, if I wanted to change the settings on this one, I could go back to that design view and so right here it says, oh, okay, we have our minors, yes or no. Uh, that's a fine format for that. Down here, you could actually uh, choose some other formats in the field properties. You could do true or false or on or off if that's applicable to your fields. Okay, and I'm going to put the default value in here as no. Okay, uh, just because, it, let's say by default, most trainers do not accept minors, then I would want that to be no. If it were the opposite, then I would want to switch that to yes. So you're going to want that default value on a yes, no field to be the more common of the two. And for the caption on this one, I'll just put accepts minors. That way people can understand if that's a yes, then that's going to be yes, they do. And if not, that's going to be a no. All right, so in here, we're going to learn how to delete um, a column or delete a field. I want you guys to notice, uh, I'm going to click yes for to save. Uh, back on the data sheet view, we have this uh, list of colleges here. And let's say that this just really isn't relevant to our database. We don't really care about having this. We could delete this right from the design view. I could go right here to college. I could right click it and I could go to delete. Okay, and you guys will see, it'll say, do you want to permanently delete the data and all of the data in its fields? Okay, so you got to be really careful when you delete anything in Access because once you delete it, it's gone. So there we go, we click yes. And so college is now gone from here. If I go back to my data sheet view, it'll say, do you want to save the table? The reason it's asking me this so much is because I'm changing layout to the table. So the, the table looks different, so it's asking if I want to save yes. And you guys will see college is no longer here. All right. So while viewing this in data sheet view, we could actually move different fields around as well. Uh, the way that you do that is you click on the field that you want to move. In this case, let's say I want to move the interest fields to the left of the higher date, higher date field. I can click and drag that and you're going to get this black vertical bar and wherever you drop it is where the field will go to. Okay. So I'm going to move interest to the left of higher date and release. And you'll see that, there we go, now interest is over here. All right, so now what we're going to do in Datasheet View is, um, while updating the records, uh, let's, let's go ahead and check a few of these people to indicate that they do accept minors. This is how you would do it while you're typing it out in Datasheet View. So let's say that uh, Randy Lee here, he does, okay. And then Raj Patel, right there, very good. And then also Carson Garner and right there okay so that's how you would check yes or no on those ones so that's how it works that's how we define our fields that's how we uh, set the field properties in the design view and then also how you specify a primary key for your database table so uh, hopefully this video has helped you out hopefully hopefully it was uh, easy to understand if it was please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video I do appreciate it have a great
great rest of your day.